So this is the way I like to verify that my grounding system connections are good. So we have a 9 volt battery, um, one terminal is connected out to the probe that is on the sidewalk. And the other probe in the back garden, the 8 foot ground rod, is connected to our negative terminal. And we're going to put our multimeter on DC amps, 200 milliamps. And we're going to use the red probe to complete the circuit. And I'm going to pull this back so you can see both the meter and the battery. And you can see that when we connect to the battery, we get approximately 30 milliamps flowing around the grounding circuit. So that means that we have a very good connection. So passing 29 milliamps through the grounding circuit means that we have a ground resistance of about 300 ohms. So now let's take a little look at a different grounding circuit and see what we get. So we have another circuit here and we have our meter again set on 200 milliamps on DC amps and our probe is going out to an 8 foot ground rod in the back garden, it's non electrified and our battery is connected into the electrical grounding system. And we're going to complete the circuit with this probe and we're going to see what happens. So watch the meter as we connect on. So you see that we've got about 106 milliamps passing through this circuit. So we've got a very good connection. And what that means is our resistance in this circuit is actually about 100 ohms. And that is pretty good. So our connection is good. And we have a relatively low resistance connection. And that's what you want for doing these stray voltage measurements. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.